G'day guys, Matty from Extreme Auto Caravan and Camping. Welcome to 2023. Big off-grid job in an F-truck. Pretty cool, isn't it? So this custom-built board, um, the idea behind it is so old mate has a rolling generator in essence. So big DC to DC charging from the vehicle. A very minimal amount of solar on the roof of this just to keep up with a 12 volt fridge and nearly seven kilowatt hours of battery storage so old mate can plug his caravan in to this anywhere at any time so if these guys want to run their induction cooker or their air conditioner microwave kettle toaster you name it they can from this system in their caravan so all of the victron stuff in this as you can see so the multi two, 12 volt, 3,120 amp inverter charger. So these guys can fast charge this lithium battery bank by plugging into mains if they are at a caravan park or a station stay, wherever. We've gone for two Orion DC to DC chargers here. So that's for alternator vehicle charging here. So that's gonna pump in 60 amps from the engine day in, day out to fast charge the lithium battery bank. We've done 200 watts of solar on the canopy of this. That's all it would allow for. And that is running through this smart solar controller right here. The other solar controller we've got here is on two ends and plugs, because old mate's gonna get a couple of 300 watt portable solar panels. So we're able to run a lot of wattage into this in the form of portability and the roof mount. So old mate wants to get to sort of that eight to 900 watt mark um, with a combination of those, and he can do that. So if these guys wanna run their air conditioner for you know the period during the day uh, without using too much battery capacity, they have the ability to do that with this. Um, you guys have seen my other videos. If you haven't, I encourage you to watch them because it's rare that we do the canopies. Um, but these guys specifically wanted it in this because they didn't want to invest all of this setup into a van that they possibly might change in the next few months. And that's what it's about. If they do change it in the next few months or a year or two, um, instead of uninstalling it from the caravan and reinstalling it into a new caravan, they don't have to do that in this. The limitations on a setup like this in a vehicle is the solar. Um, obviously, you've got X amount of roof space to work with. Um, you know, short of fitting all the solar on the roof of the caravan and having a plug system to interface into this, you can only, you've only got X amount of real estate to work with, and which is what we've done. But old mate's happy to run for the portable system. These guys aren't actually going to be running the air conditioner all day. They want to be able to just plug into a reliable system to run their induction cooker. They run a big double induction cooker. Uh, they want to run their toaster, their kettle, charge laptops, all of your mains power devices in their caravan uh, whenever they want. And we've been able to do that for these guys. So you can see the servo here as well with a touchscreen, which I'll show you in a second is around the side here. So these guys have easy access. They don't need to climb in here to get to any of this. This is all, all stashed away. All of the controls on this is very easily done by the lift up on the side. Now, old mate's not that tall and we can reach it quite easily. So the touchscreen's about head height and the 15 amp input and the 15 amp output are right next to each other. So that means if they are running a generator at the same time as they're running their caravan, they can, and they can run a Honda One. So they can control the AC input on this, so the Honda One generator can run their whole van, air conditioner, microwave, all of this stuff at the same time without tripping the generator off. Now, like I said, you can fast charge this, so this will pump in 120 amps an hour from mains. So if old mate rocks up at a caravan park and I don't know, he's down to 20% um, and he wants to free camp the next day. Well, use the power from the pole at the caravan park to refill your batteries, just like an electric vehicle, essentially. You know, plug in, pull all that energy in, store it in your lithium batteries to let you go camping. Um, you know, this is a really, really cool setup to have it. And it is portable. Old mate has the ability to run an induction cooker in here now. They can charge laptops. They can run coffee machines, you name it, even in the back of this. If they wanted to take the, this F truck onto the beach and do all that in you know, blowing a gale wind, they can run their induction cooker at the back quite easily. It's a very cool setup. Once again, guys, as with all of our jobs, quite neatly laid out, everything has a label. It's all easier to see, easy to understand. If anyone needs to work on this for whatever reason to disable something, change a fuse, pull something off, it's all right in front of you, very easily seen. It's all bolted and strapped in securely. This thing isn't going anywhere in a hurry. Um, yeah, very happy with how this one is set up. 
um, and I'll give you some cheeky rundowns. What I'll do is I'll plug old mate's caravan in. It's, it's actually plugged in now. And I'll show you how simple it is to have this rolling generator to be able to run your caravan free camping on the side of the road, middle of the bush anywhere. We've just plugged the caravan in. As you can see, the AC out is running here. And there we go. It's only a short lead, which is good. Straight into the side of the van. And we're at a caravan park, obviously, so that's that yellow lead, so that's coming from the pole. So we're running this straight from the batteries now. I've just put the Ibis air conditioner on for old mate. Uh, it's not super hot here today in Adelaide, and once again, full cloud cover. <laughs> I can't even test my 200 watt solar panel that we put on the roof of this. Um, you can see what's happening here. So the car, oh, try to get this glare away, guys. So you can see we've got AC loads at 181 watts, 182 watts. That compressor would not have kicked in yet, and we're pulling 11 on amps. So that that fridge is on as well, which is at 12 volts. So that's always running. Has nothing to do with the inverter on this. So when these guys are free camping and they want to run their inverter, all they've got to do is turn this on at the touch of a button. All right, charger only, inverter only, off and back to on. And as you guys are aware with the AC current limit, whenever I put into this here, right, so if I plug a generator in here, it's a, I don't know, a little Honda one, well, I would set this to all the way down to something like three or four. So at that, current limit it limits what is pulled from this so that means a little honda one can run without it tripping off now if it goes over that the rest of it comes from batteries it's very clever so we'll put that up to about let's go 10 amps so that means now the most it's going to pull from this is 10 amps now i'll show you how that works and when i plug this in i'm not quick at this oh there we go <laughs> Right, so AC is coming in now. Now I'll show you what happens. You watch the changeover. There's the click. Take note of shore and see the see the power shift. See those little blue dots moving. Now take note it's charging the batteries, but still running the caravan. So what that means is right now we are fast charging the batteries in here fast charging them from the grid, right, from the pole. So the yellow the yellow cord's coming in, the orange is going out. Now the situation you'd do this in would be if you're running a generator or you want to charge these batteries before you head off camping. And Old Mate can do that, but the beautiful thing about it is if I pull the yellow lead, that's gonna continue to run. The caravan will continue to run. So if he's got the air conditioner running, it won't matter. It's, it's almost like an unlimited power supply. Um, so to speak. So if the power goes out of the caravan park, not for these guys, they'll have unlimited power. It's a great setup to be able to do this. So there it is once again, AC in and out. So your generator would plug into here or a 10 amp power supply. So take note of what it's only pulling. So shore power, it's only sitting on just over 2000 watts because I've set that current limit for 10. If I change it, I'll crank it up. All right, so we'll go up to 15 amps on the uh, AC input here. And I'll show you what happens. And take note of that shore power rise. Watch it go up. See? So now what that means is we're using more from this input. We've now allowed that to go up to 15 amps. Okay, as you can see. 15 amps. So that means the AC current limit is set for 15. So it's going, it will pull 15 amps at a maximum from this yellow lead. Now, if you've got a generator, like a little Honda 1, it's about 850 watts of running power. It's about three and a bit, 3.8 or four amps. You would set that for 3.8 or four amps. So that way the most it pulls is that and it won't trip your generator off. Um, or if you're at a station stay where, where there's a 10 amp power supply and you don't have a 15 amp power supply, you set this for 10. So the most it pulls is 10. It just stops old mate's breaker from clipping off all the time. And you can use past that because that's the Victron. It'll use above the 10 amps It'll come from batteries. So when compressors kick in or high inductive loads kick in, it uses battery power uh, to supplement it. And then the continual running power is what the continual running power is. Very cool setup to be able to do this. So that's these guys on the side of the road, you know, just plugging in and running. There we go, guys. Enjoy that.